greetings to everyone my name is dr vishnu ojha i am second year postgraduate student of nrs medical college <clears throat> my topic uh, for paper presentation is cns neoplasm uh, bangalore bio under guidance of dr ramchandra bhadro uh, associate professor of nrs medical college kolkata cns neoplasm ganglioglioma introduction ganglioglioma's are rare tumors of central nervous system ganglioglioma's most frequently affect children and young adult with slight male preponderance it occur accounts almost 1% of all cns neoplasms ganglioglioma's can occur anywhere in cns but they are most commonly found in temporal lobe up to 85% often associated with seizure ganglioglioma's are most common tumor related to temporal lobe epilepsy here in we report a case of ganglioglioma in a 12 years old boy who was suffering from seizure decorticate posture and unconsciousness m magnetic resonance imaging or mri as a imaging modality with different sequence of mri to diagnose ganglioglioma of temporal lobe of a 12 year old boy who is suffering from seizure disorder decorticate posture and consciousness method a case report method of data collection mri uh, study tools ge sigma hde 1.5 tesla mri machine case presentation a 12 year old boy presented to neurology opd with complaint of frequent seizures episodes followed by unconsciousness a decorticate posture occurs before unconsciousness total episode of this incidence lasts for 10 to 15 minutes and it occurs at least one to two times per week the boy was suffering from the disease for last two years after opd examination the patient was then admitted to neuro surgery ward various uh, and then the various anti epileptic medication had been started and various laboratory tests uh, electroencephalography uh, and mri of brain were done laboratory test results were within normal range mri revealed heterogeneous lesion in right temporal region with right temporal horn prominent prominence possibility of ganglioglioma irregular polymorphic 2 to 5 hertz lateralized activity type 2a noted in electroencephalogram suggestive of seizures originating from temporal neocortex the patient then underwent temporal lobe resection surgery wrap the right side uh, and post surgical period was uneventful and the condition of the boy was gradually improved there was no episode of seizure or unconsciousness for last 6 month after the surgery mri findings t2ated fsc and flare images uh, showing heterogeneous lesion in right temporal region with right temporal horn is prominent diffusion imaging is not uh, showing any abnormal signals rest of the cerebral parenchyma and ventricular systems is normal no midline shift is seen pituitary fossa appears normal cerebellum and brain stem appears normal normal flow void signals is seen in major cerebral blood vessels impression uh, heterogeneous lesions is seen in right temporal region with right temporal horn is prominent possibility of ganglioglioma cortical or cortical dysplasia or subacute infarct may be there mri images this uh, arrow indicates arrow marks indicates the hypo intense signal in t1 weighted mri images suggesting of tumor in right temporal lobe here 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 also the t1 weighted uh, flare images which in, indicates the hypo intense signal in temporal lobe then the t2 weighted fsc images which causes heterogeneous lesion which uh, shows heterogeneous lesions and the prominent uh, temporal lobe here yeah. t2 weighted fsc images suggesting of tumor and the t2 weighted flare images which also indicating the tumor uh, the hyper intense or uh, heterogeneous hyper intense area in temporal lobe and which is suggesting of tumor 
here in sagittal plane and the t2 weighted sagittal images here also we can look at the tumor <coughs> the dwi images not showing any abnormal signal diagnosis the biopsy specimen taken from the resected tissue all the section contain tumor which is moderately cellular and the glial cells are elongated which contains angulated and hyperchromatic nuclei some fascicular arrangement is noted and scattered dysmorphic neurons are seen intermixed with glial cells they are haphazardly arranged and some cells are binucleated with nucleomegaly no microvascular proliferation or necrosis noted no oligodendroglial component noted the adjacent cortex shows cortical dysplasia with disorganized neurons but no balloon cells immunophenotyping done which are showing positivity to various neuronal markers the synaptophysin is positive gf gf positive neurofilament protein positive chromogranin a positive neon n positive indicating both glial and neuronal differentiation idh1 and mgmt are negative and the topo isomers index uh, is 1 to 2% percent rtx shown uh, shows no lo loss of staining or non mutated the features appear to show low grade glioneural tumor consistent with ganglioglioma final diagnosis low grade uh, glioneuroma new low grade glioneural tumor consistent with a ganglioglioma who grade 1 discussion ganglioglomas are at low grade tumor of primary central nervous system ganglioglomas are composed of glial and neuroepithelial elements approximately they consist 1% of all intracranial tumor they more, they are more commonly appears in children uh, and young adults temporal lobe is the most common location for these tumors seizures is the most important symptoms of this tumor surgical excision significantly improves the patient's condition in our case mri plays important role in to evaluations of ganglioglioma of right temporal lobe of the of the young boy mri shows exact location and lesion more precisely the extent of the lesion and location help to diagnose the type of lesion mri is preferred modality because it is free from any ionizing radiation different imaging sequences of mri help to diagnose the tumor T1 weighted images shows lesion hyperintense while the T2 weighted FSC and flare images shows the lesion is hyperintense the lesion is solid type without any cystic component and lesion uh, heterogeneously enhanced in T2 weighted FSC and flare images prominent uh, you know, in flare images with prominent right temporal horn in conclusion mri can be lead point for diagnosis uh, of ganglioglioma of cns with the help of clinical history eeg findings of the patient the actual type of neoplasm can only be confirmed by histopathological examinations with immunophenotyping and uh, immunophenotyping of resected tissue these are the references